Hi. <laughs> right. Let me just turn off my computer. Oh, hi everyone. Hi Steph. I was just printing off some photos and I think I've broken my printer. You get your printer working and I break mine. Pull my jeans up. Oh, they're a bit tight. Happy Saturday, everyone. Hiya, Carol. Hi, Ali. It's still making crazy noises, that printer. It says it needs your attention. Morning, Kirsty. And it's trying to shut down and now it's on limbo mode. Hi, Ralph. He's all right. Oh, what a morning. So I thought I'd build some of this magnetic board kit today and give you some ideas for other products that could be used with it and also turn it into like a mini scrapbook frame. Um, hence the photos that's broke my printer. <laughs> Uh, and then if we have time, I was wanting to um, make a gift box for uh, these little pound shop shampoo bars, the coconut ones. They're vegan, 100% uh, recyclable box, plastic free. And these are, only, like I say, they're only, hi Karen, they're only a quid. So um, I did some calculations and stuff. So if we have time, morning Susan or good evening, hope you're well. Um, we'll build a wee box too. So, how is everyone? Hope you're all good. The dogs have been trying to get through, but uh, I need peace and quiet this morning. So, um, Right, so I've been sending out, for those that are on my MailChimp list, um, you get the free printable first before it goes onto my blog. So, some of the items that are up are... Um, free printable to house a little um, nail varnish box. There's measurements up for that. It's a bit bright, the light, isn't it? Um, we have a one end, one end opening box as well to hold a little beauty treat or a Mars bar or a gift. And we also have the little boxes that hold two Biscoffy biscuits. Oh, is it morning we are, Susan? Oh, bless. Been up since four. <gasps> Not so good. Um, one that's coming next is the same box as this. Uh, you'll find that on YouTube, um, but it's a double-ended box. The ones that I've still to fill them is this one. So this contains a mini body shop um, item. And what else is there? I have still to fill them and type up instructions on gift packaging this. And then we'll try and do the shampoo bar today. Hi Gemma, hope you're well. My hands are really, really dry. I've got rubbish nail varnish on. Carol loves the boxes. Fab. Yeah, I'm going to um, have to pick a date to come live in the um, Craft with Real Friends group, Carol. Because um, I think these are great. I mean, you could get little Mars bars in there. You could give it as gifts. And it doesn't have to be expensive. And it's a good reason to use up all your stash. That's my excuse anyway. Uh. So... Um, so what we're doing today, oh, first of all, I have the host code here. I am putting an order away for those that like me to post it onto them a little bit cheaper um, around the 17th of the month. But if you're ordering online, it's PMC6SMRC, but I'll post it in the group later. Yes, so I've got a few orders already for the expressions in ink, um, reduced paper pumpkin kit so that is brilliant um and carol that's because you've been sharing your lovely photos as well hon so thank you um i still need to play with mine i'm such a terrible tour <laughs> uh print out P pdf for the girls in the craft room oh that's good if there's any boobos in it or typos please let me know um because as a touch typist we are the worst at checking our own work um i'd already reprinted one of them redone it i think three times because um, I missed out numbers and stuff. but uh, So if there is any boo-boos, let me know and I will fix it for you guys. So this is the uh, magnetic 
Celebrate Today Magnetic Board Kit, and it's an exclusive kit online. Um, obviously, I can order it as well for you. And uh, yeah, we're going to make it today. So it's a 12 by 12 magnetic frame. We've got all these bits in here. I'm actually meeting, um, me and my Stampin' Up! team are meeting next Saturday evening because I've got two of these kits. We're meeting on Zoom next Saturday to do a craft along together with that kit. But if, if the team don't have this, it's just to bring along whatever you like. So, um, I've got a couple of photos here that I want to incorporate into my board. Um, hi Pat, nice to see you. Um, one is of the um, last time, I think it was November, I met up with the girls from the team and just some other photos that I want to pop in. So, right, what I'll do is I'll, I'll put you in the, the, um, the phone holder. I'll need to get my charger. Um, yeah, I can see it. And then I will, if you give me a little second, I will catch up on my phone and see um, see how the picture looks. I've changed my desk a little bit. I found this old glass, um, what do you call it, desk mat thing. Um, I've added some foam pads on the bottom and it's just a wee bit easier to work with because it doesn't slide and I've just clipped. Hi Kirsten, clipped my Stampin' Up! grid paper on the top. So that's good, right. Oh, my phone cable's nearly in my coffee. Right, this is my old phone that I'm using. There's some apps on this that I can't get on my iPhone for some reason. Um, shortcuts to my um, sleeping reports and stuff. Right, uh, let's see, where are we? So I need to open this up. I need to go to Facebook. Yeah, I've really been enjoying doing all these kind of 3D projects and what have you. Um... Right, let me find, let me find my page. Sorry, I'm all fingers and thumbs this morning. I uh, can't, couldn't remember the name of my business there. <laughs> right, so don't forget for this month, um, we have 20% off the mini Stampin' Up! Cut and Boss machine. And we also have... 20% off some bundles that they've brought back exclusively as a bundle to give you 20% off for the month of March. So, hi Robin. Right, let me pop that there with all the... Right, let me, let me straighten this up. Just give it a wee second. It just shows how the, there's some um, delay, isn't there? Does that look straight enough? I just don't want anything distracting you guys right let's open this up be very careful if you're using sharp scissors so yeah that's a bit better a bit tidier it's a bit tidier so husband and the boys are away to the little ones playing football this morning and then he's going bowling with his friend and then i am going to go and visit one of my team that's just moved 15, away, 15 minutes away from me, so I'm going to pop and see her. She's going to cook some Indian cuisine, etc. So I'm so excited. I'll get to meet our girls. Right. Um, okay, first things first. What I'm going to do is, in this kit, you get uh, paper for the background. So I'm going to... I'm going to put one of them in first because... Um, it takes away the glare. I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with the grey or should I go with the black? I think I'll go with the black because I've printed off some black um, photos. Um, right, don't ask me how this goes in. I'm presuming, does it open up at the back? Yeah, it does, but I'm sure I can just squeeze it in without damaging it too much. No, do it the proper way, Trisha. Okay, no shortcuts. Hi, Ramona. Okay, so this pops out. So this is a magnetic piece. So it pops out. It's cleanable as well. If you give it a little wipe with a damp cloth if needed. Pop your 12 by 12 sheet in. Now you can use any 12 by 12 sheet. Um, 
you can take it out your other paper stacks or your designers to use paper and yeah right a little fight to get it back in but that's okay morning Lynn so I'm so happy that everybody's packages started arriving in the last few days so that is good oh they're really stiff I'm sore on the fingers Ta-da! how fab I do like it right now, um, I forgot how much this was. I think it's £24. But this is... Um, you're going to have this forever. I mean, magnets never lose their magneticity. Is that a word? <laughs> Hi, Barbara! So, you always get instructions, okay? So, um... Oh, so the instructions is... It tells you to tells you to slide the DSP in, um, but that's just a, a quicker way than taking the whole thing off the back. Right, okay. So what we have here is we've got little pockets, we've got little index card kind of things. So let's build those. So there's two pockets. Hi, Sherida. Diana saying I've got one of these, not got it set up yet. Oh, bless. Maybe this will um, inspire you to get it out and get a wee play. Okay. So, I'm just getting all the bits out. The good thing about um, stamping up, um, especially when you're getting designer series paper, the majority of the time, especially the speciality stuff, you do get a big 12 by 12 grey board, which everybody loves to upcycle and use for other projects. So, um, it's good. You also get the um, tearing tape. I'm going to put mine to the side because I have the, the full size one there. Right, let me get my coffee out of the way. So, what's everybody's plans this weekend? Oh, wow, we have 17 lovelies watching. Thank you for popping on. As you know, it's the highlight of my weekend. Right, so. What we've got here, because this is a, a European kit, we get three, one, two, hang on. We get that sticker set. That sticker, they're gorgeous. Look at the lovely colours. And it always tells you in the back what colours, or it will tell, yep, Lush and Bride, Flirty Flamingo, Melon Mambo, Mint Macaron and Smoky Slate, as well as Black. So, um, yeah, so when there's sentiment stickers, we always get... Oh, Barbara's going to Helen's bra today. Nice. Robin's out of isolation midnight tomorrow. Oh, bless. At least it is, it's an excuse for you making all the lovely cards. Not that we should have excuses. Right, we get four, four sheets of these sentiment stickers. So there's German... German... And is there French on that? Yeah, there's quite a few. So there's German, Dutch, French and English. So they're awesome. You can use them in cards and that as well. And you also get these, Memory and Mors. Now, I, um, I won't be sticking this directly onto here, but I will use some of these stickers on... Um, the next part I'm going to show you. Hubby's soon to be home for badminton lean. Drop off to train to Edinburgh Blaze. You've got cricket tomorrow. Oh, nice. Nice, nice. And Kirsten saying a sheet of each. Yes. Thank you, my dear. Right, all these little cards that you get is little, like, index cards. So there's two of each design. You can make, mix and match these in your... Incorporate them into your card making as well. These are gorgeous. Or, um, I'm going to show you some other memories and more cards that we have. That's what these are called. These are great for scrapbooking, uh, planning and things. And Stampin' Up! do have other uh, similar ones on offer. So there's quite a few here. I love them. So, all in the coordinating colours. Gorgeous. And if you wanted more, 
Um, sometimes the kits you can get, um, hi Victoria, sometimes you can get um, refill kits but not for this one as such yet. Um, it would be good if they, they did because like I say it's a, an item that you're going to have a little while. Right, so we've got lots here. So these are gorgeous. <clears throat> However, I'm not doing mine as a kind of planner today. I'm going to do it as a positive affirmation board slash scrapbook page thing. <laughs> uh, the little house memories and more cards would be nice. Yes. Now, the ones that I've got to hand are, I have two packs. So I've got What a Year, Memories and More. Um, so those are on page 127 of the main catalogue and you can see all the memories and more accessories that you can get. So these are really fun colours. We've also got um, hand pen memories and more card pack. So I've got some here that would go good. And we have heart and home suite. These are gorgeous memory and more cards as well can see them there and what I like about these is they have sentiments you don't need to do anything other than read it and give yourself a little bit of positivity so right I think what I'll do is I'll build these first now you can choose which way you want these to um which side you want to stick out I'm going to go with the more neutral colors um because I don't my, my room's kind of gray black and yellow so Right, so instructions to build these is, right, easy peasy. Okay, now these, once they're built, will fold flush like this. And you can use the little um, stickers and stuff to decorate the pockets. So, the side that you want to show what we need to do is we need to put tape on the actual side you want to show right let's do that so i'm just going to get my tearing tape let me move this to now mind you it's quite a good view on the back isn't it none of that cinnamon cider malarkey <laughs> no 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 <laughs> right okay so i'm just popping it i don't know if you can see all the score lines are already in there so it's like a little corsentina or whatever you call it effect. Oh, because I, I don't know where my, my tweezers are, but I found them. I was having a right laugh through the week. I had a pack of four of these, and I was wanting to make a little box for them, and I ate three, um, and then I scunnered myself that much that I couldn't face the last one, and I couldn't face making a box. <laughs> Oh dear, dear. Oh dear. Right. Cool. So, oh, what I will say though is um, fold and burnish it first. Don't do as I do. So, this is the um, mountain, hills and mountains, Carol. What was it you were having a giggle about the other day? And I've just stuck it down. Oh my goodness, right. So you're weaving it like so. This folds over, okay. And then we're going to fold it over and that secures it on the back. Now I will move this board because I do need to burnish it. Mountains and, is it peaks and troughs or mountains and valleys or something? <laughs> oh, right, so whatever you do, fold and burnish first. Okay, so there's one. Let's do this one. Oh, spot the rookie error. I've done it the wrong way around. That's absolutely fine. That's absolutely fine. I think I'll keep them colourful. What the hand? Kirsten would always finish the packet of Ferrero sweets. Oh, they're just so good. But the nuts get everywhere stuck in your teeth. All right, so. This one here. See what happens when you don't um, concentrate. But that's fine. Right, okay. La 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 la. Now, one of my um, crafty friends that's in the same team that I'm in, um, 
Nigeza Creates, she has a tutorial up on Positive um, on making similar little pockets when you want to add to it. Um, so that is definitely worth a little look. Right, so just make sure that your um, little folds are tucked under this flap, okay? Then we remove this. Steph's seen, I'll post a picture in the group with the tutorial later when I've sorted it all out. Brilliant. Thank you, hon. Um, okay, so pop it in there like so. And then we have two little kind of course in Tina pockets. Please tell me I'm saying the right word. Aren't they gorgeous? Fab. Right, now we can decorate them. We can decorate them. Now you can do it as you wish. So let's see. Oh, right. Kirsten, I get what you mean. It's one of each sheet. So we've got a Dutch, French and German sheet which we don't need, and then we've got the English sheet. I get you, I get you, babes. <laughs> I couldn't, uh, couldn't quite fathom um, where the English was on the other ones, that's why, because it's not on it. So there's lots of sentiments here. Um, I think I will do Love This Life and Grateful on my wee pockets, or Happiness is the Journey and then Grateful. So let's um, decorate it. So, Barbara can't wait for your catalogue to arrive. Oh, I know. I know, I know. Oh, did I? Oh, I don't think I sent you one, Barbara, did I? Did I say I was sending you one? <gasps> it's fine, because you're ordering, you're ordering one of those kits, so I could pop it in with that. I'm just going to write that down, hon. I really, really need, do need a personal assistant these days, because my brain is just... Right, and catalogue. Unless I've already done it. Did you get your thank you present for shopping last month, Barbara? Because if, if you did and the catalogue wasn't in there, my bad. <laughs> my bad. Right, okay, let's have some... Whoa, let's have some flowers. Awesome. Right. Now, um, because we've got little leaves in that for tucking under, you can attach these with um, dimensionals if you like or you can pop your leaves on before you stick it down or you can just put it put it down very oh so you've not right cool or you can just pop it down and then very lightly tuck the leaves under these are just gorgeous i think i'm going to put that one i think i'm going to put that one here so i'm just going to drop it Lightly. Once you've pushed it down, it is stuck, guys, so um, just bear that in mind. And see, you could just tuck the little leaves underneath. Okay, so I'm going to go with another leaf under here. Love it. Love it, love it. How gorgeous is that? Okay, I'm going to get a wee butterfly now. And I'm going to put the butterfly on there. But I think what I'll do is I will add, let me see, what other colours is there? So what have I got? We've got little labels. Look at these little index stickers. They're quite nice. We've got all these little um, arrows and stuff as well. Beautiful. Right, I want to put this on dimensionals. I want to put them on dimensionals. Right, okay, let's do that. Just be careful if you have dogs or anything around. You don't want any anything sticking to the back of this. Because it's very sticky. So I want to pop that up here. So it's a little higher. I think that's lovely. Hi Karen. Rub the back with the embossing buddy to take the stickiness away. Brilliant. I was just thinking how would I how would I do that? I still need to try and make my own uh, embossed buddy. Hope you're well, Karen, with your gammy gammy leg, hun. 
shouldn't make jokes because you've been in a lot of agony, haven't you? Bless you. Bless, bless, bless. Right, so... I mm, don't think that needs any more, actually. Right, I am going to put sentiment on now. I still can't believe I've lost my boss buddy, by the way. I still can't believe it. Right, I'm going to put grateful on this. I love all the sentiments that are really positive. Okay. So I am, and it doesn't matter if it overlaps slightly, I think that'll look quite nice. So I'm just going to pop that bad boy down there. That's relatively straight, is it? Slightly off the wonk. Oh, we've got a wonk, we've got a wonk. There, a bit wonky. But I was saying, what is an embossed buddy? So an embossed buddy is a little pouch that has like anti-static powder in it. So handmade ones could be cornflower or talc. Um, and it's sewn into material. And you just rub it on your project before you put your embossing um, ink down and then your embossing powder. And it takes away any static. Because um, often when we emboss, if you don't do that, the embossed powder could stick around your sentiment and leave little extra dots and stuff and you don't want that. Hi Angela. How beautiful is that? I do like it. I do like it. Right, let's decorate the other one. Now this one, I am going to, I'm going to put that right in the middle. Now is that straight? Let me hold it up. I'm going to put that right there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to build up. I'm going to do a little video for you, Barbara, on um, embossing. It'll probably be later on today or tomorrow, hun, because I'm going out to see Ramona today for a couple of hours. Right, so happy this is in the journey. Okay, I'm going to put this down here. Love this life. So I'm just going to use my hands just to remove some stickiness. I did wash my hands just five minutes ago, so they're nice and clean. Right, and what you could do is you could add some, let's add some twine. Why not? Why not? Oh, did I use all my white twine? Yes, I did. But I have some more here. Okay, right, I'm going to pop some twine. I'm going to pop it on the back of this since it's still a wee bit sticky. Hi, Jo. Hope you're all well. The desk's looking a little bit cluttered already, folks. I do apologise. Love this live, so I need it on this side. So we're just going to wrap that round like so. She says, I'm going to pop it there. Fab. And then I'm going to put my dimensions on. There we go. Dimensionals, sorry. Dimensionals. I'm so terrible with my words. Right, I need to be baby one. Same thing when she first started out in Boston, but it was a foot of a pair of tights filled with talc. Ah, brilliant. Hey, if it works, it works. Definitely. I'm just scared to make my own ones because once I get that sewing machine out, I'm going to be totally distracted. Um, Yeah, right, I'm going to pop... Pop that just on the bottom there, like so. That's really pretty. And there's lots of little hearts and cute little things that we can add on as well. Um, the only thing you don't get with this is any bling or anything, but you can add your own stash on there. Right, I want to, I want to add a butterfly over here, I think. Should we go with this one? In fact, I'll pop it over there. And that'll coordinate quite nice, won't it? I think that's super, super pretty. Does anyone remember playing with tennis balls in tights? Yeah! <laughs> I used to swing it round. Oh, that is sore if you got hit by that. Alison's saying if you think that is cluttered, you should see, see mine or can't see it. Oh, boy. You've been really busy, though, Alison, making lots of cards and stuff. Right, I'm going to pop some dimensionals on. Just try and make it lose its sticky a little bit. 
And these are really thick that you could probably prise them off if you want to change things around at a later date. Um, right, so this is going to go here. Right, I need to put a dimensional there. These are really fab. Hi, Lorna. My sister-in-law's just popped on there. How you doing? Right, pop that here. Oh, guys, how gorgeous is that? I do like that. Now, I'm going to wink of Stella out. Why? Because I can. Right. So, I'm just quickly using the dampness off the brush. I'm not needing to squeeze it this morning. Just add a little bit. Ramona seems so cute. Oh, thank you. So it's just discreet, but you can see it. If you look hard enough, you can see it. It's just quite hard to do on the um, video. This one as well, I'm going to do it. I'll squeeze it a wee bit. Please excuse the state of my nails. I'm trying to have a break from gelling them. And I bought this nail varnish when I was in Asda yesterday, getting my bargain PGs. And hi, Louise. I wanted to say she was off to the kitchen, but my wee ones are stuck watching you. Oh, bless. And I'll see you later, girls. Um, yeah, I got it while I was out getting those bargains. Um, the thing is, since I had my um, temporary filling replaced on my front tooth, um, it's back to kind of my normal shape. And it means I can no longer bite my nails. <laughs> so I am growing them. Now, so there's no need to put gel on them because um, I can't bite them anyway. Terrible habit. Terrible habit. Right. I would love some little bling on this because, you know what, it's just so pretty colours. Let me um, try not not knock everything off here. So, these are awesome. In fact, I think I'll colour some of the basic pearl jewels. These are amazing if you've got a stash of um, Stampin' Up Blends or um, any alcohol marker. You can colour these according to um, your colour scheme. So what did we see? Was it Mint Macaron? Was the green? Uh, yep, yeah, Mint Macaron. I think I've got that. This Mint Macaron? Yep, Mint Macaron. There's Blushing Bride and Flirty Flamingo. Um, what is this? That's light flirty flamingo. I'll go for the dark. Perfect. Perfect. And you could use any of the other colours as well, like the greys and stuff. So I think I'll do... I think I'll do the mint macaron on the pink pocket. Hi, Janice. Hope you're well. See you soon, Trisha. This is Shobna and Rani. My mum is in the kitchen. Oh, clever girls. Now, this is quite a discreet colour. I'm just going to get a little bit pearly looking, which is awesome. Anybody else love the squeak? <laughs> so, I'm going to do three. Fabulous. Waft it about. And then we could pop them on there. Right. Uh, I'm not going to use my tape my pick tool because it might be a little bit wet still. So, I am going to just... Pop one down there. Oops. Pop one here. And pop the other one. Oops. Here. Look how that finishes it off. Just lovely. Lovely, jovely. I do like that. Right. Um, what I was wanting to do is add some ink. Um, ink of Stella ink to the butterfly. You could add some pearls or gems to his his wee body or her wee body. So I'm just doing it discreetly. No right or wrong way. I'm hoping maybe Ramona later will show me how to uh, do some quilling. That would be nice. Robin saying she loves it. Oh, bless. It's so, so, so fab, isn't it? Right, now for some pink. Flirty Flamingo for on here. Um, seeing that, the natural colour of the, um, in fact, I'm going to do them grey. The natural colour of the pearls is nice as well. 
Right, so what day is that? Did I see Smoky Slate? That's light Smoky Slate. I want dark Smoky Slate. Here we go. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Let me show you some girls calling me as you mentioned my name. Oh, bless. <laughs> bless you. Right, going to do three of these as well. So small, medium and large. I'll just colour them again because I like that sound. <laughs> oh, dearie, dearie, doctor. Right, I'm just going to give it a wee waft around. While that's drying, I'll quickly show you the um, coconut bar in here. How fab's that? So it's a coconut shampoo bar. It smells absolutely lush. Now, that looks more expensive than a pound. The only thing that gives it away as being a pound is the name. However, by the time you wrap it up and stuff, what a good thing to sell at craft fairs or, or sweet gifts and stuff. Because let's face it, everything's going up in price, so... Um, I think we should all make a conscious effort to um, start gifting our handmade items because people really do appreciate, well most people appreciate the effort that goes in. Right, I'll pop that there. Oops. Do you know something, my tinnitus is really bad in my ears today. It's so quiet in the house and nobody's in. And the dogs are sleeping. We'll pop that there. Fab. Is this in your basket, Carol? <laughs> it's really, really good, Barbara. I do love um, stuff that you can use like this all year round. So we've added little touches. Right, let's get the board back in. So in the little box, I think it's eight clips that we get. Well, these are a good size. Six clips, sorry. So you can see on one side um, it has a magnet and then on the other side it has the um, hole. So you just pop it on your project, on your thing, and stick it on. So you could move it around as you wish. How cool is that? Look. Oh, honestly, guys, this is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Right, now what I'm going to do is... I am going to, Steph's saying I got all my washing hair stuff from Poundland, it's just the same. Oh yeah, you're right. Uh, Carol's saying tinnitus is driving her crackers at the moment as well. Oh bless. It's horrible, isn't it? So these basically just sit inside. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to split them up so that these ones I know you can write on. So you've got all different, you've got grids, lines, um, things like that. There's a little um, checklist that could maybe go out itself. We've got little index cards. I'm going to sneeze in a minute. Sorry, guys. No, I'm not. Um, we've got to-do lists. They say um, that you should pick five things on your to-do list. Um... And if you don't get them done, you try and get at least the top three done and then the other two can wait to the next day and you just keep that process going. I've started doing um, little to-do lists and it does help um, because every month I have a to-do list this size and it can get overwhelming for anybody, um, whether it's your day job, whether it's in your crafty business or, or in your friendship groups and things like that. Um, so when you cut it down to five... Um, yeah, it makes a big difference. You don't feel as overwhelmed then. Carol's got an idea of one of these. Put sentiments in them. Oh, yes. Good idea. Good idea. And I found one sentiment, Carol. So thanks for reminding me. I need to actually do a whole load of different sentiments again. Um, but I'll do, at the same time, I'll emboss and do that little um, how-to for you, Barbara, in the same video. Um, and anybody else that wants to see embossing from start to finish. So where I'm going to put that so don't forget, I'll pop it there next to my little gifts. Cool. Right. So I'm not going to spend too long nattering about this. Steph's got a sentiment mug. That's a good idea. Right, let's um, so pop that in there. I am just going to pop these XX ones 
and all the extra bits in back in its little wallet because the other bits I'm using I'll show you in a minute. So these are more to-do and action type memories and more tags as well as pic pictorial ones. Right, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to pop this on here. You know I won't write on these because <laughs> I won't want to spoil them. But I will like looking at them. So there we've got two little envelopes, some with um, to-do lists in it. This one's blank the now, but I want to show you. So, uh, Jason, yes, please, the boss has been years since I've done them. Hi, Lorraine, as well. Hello. Um, yeah, when I first started in Boston, it was just before I joined Stampin' Up! and I just couldn't get it right. I tried different um, embossing inks and stuff without naming any, and I just couldn't get it. But then, because I started my Smith's Crafts Creations and became a demo, um, I invested in all the embossing powders and stuff, and I thought, when I get things that are all branded, and I love to look after them, and I thought, I need to invest my time in practising. Um, and it does get easier. It does get easier. Kirsten's saying, laminate them and then they'll be usable over and over. What a great idea. You could use um, dry white marker pens. I'm going to write that down, Kirsten. Thank you, hon. Remember, share that tip in our, um, our team social next week as well. I'm going to write that down. Laminate. Because I, I found my laminator by accident the other week, so I know I've got one for sure. <laughs> what time are we at? Do, 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 do. Oh, 22, that's not bad. Right, what I'll do is I'll just quickly go through how you can incorporate your other memories and more cards in. So, like I say, I've got hand pinned ones here. So, these are good for scrapbooking, but they're good for sentiments. So, if you're looking for positivity... Um, you could pull out the little ones that say simple pleasures, so loved, anything is possible, and you can just pop a little sentiment on your board. Okay, so that's the um, hand pen. There's lots of gorgeous ones. And you know what? When you're having a tough day, I really do find that when you write down things you're grateful for or um, things that are annoying you that day, it does help. Um, Karen's saying, love this, oh, bless. Oh, you're the same can when you're trying to say, oh, wow. My doctor just ignored me. He, he just ignored me when I told him it, about it. Because I've got that much other crap going on. <laughs> um, so, yeah, this one's really nice. Happiness is, and like we said, like um, Kirsten said, if you laminated it or you could use pencil to rub it out, you could um, do little journaling and things. And it's just a good way of staying, trying to stay positive in this horrible world of now. Karen saying she's waited since having COVID. Oh my goodness. Susan saying thanks for demo on this sold out in the States. <gasps> wow. Wow. That is good. Right, okay. The next one is what a year memories and more. So I've just pulled out some that have got sentiments on them. So it's got you and me. You could pop that on there with a photo of me and my husband. There's also kind of like planning things in this set as well. Now that, they aren't expensive. These are only, and they're really colourful, £9.25 for a pack. And you get lots of different sizes and what have you. And you get two of each of the design. But look at that. Hello, sunshine. That would go lovely in there. Happy little moments. I think I'll use that. Happy little moments because it's pink. Okay, right. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. Do, 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 do. I am going to get a clip. I see looks fabulous. Oh, bless. Kirsten saying my dad got a hearing aid and it removed most of it. <gasps> really? Carol's got a tinnitus machine that put under a pillow at night when it's bad. Oh, wow. I don't know if my doctor um, runs for the house when he sees me come in. Saying that, I am about three, four months overdue for my, my six weekly review. Um, I forgot. And uh, he's not been in touch, so he's going to get around. Right, so what I have here is happy little moments. I'm going to grab... I'm going to grab this. I'm going to cut out this... Um, see, I tried to pick some silly photos as well. 
I am going to what am I going to cut out? I'm going to cut out that one of me being silly with the dog. And apologies if it's not straight. This is basic white cardstock, but um, I think I'm pushing my printer to its um, maximum workloads at the minute. Um, Carol's saying yes, it does make you deaf. Oh my God, that's not good. So here we have, see how you can just put um, photos and stuff on it. It's the same with the card. Um, display as well. Let me see if I can find that. I have got, um, for instance, I've got Hazel Hancock and Carol, um, Karen McDonald's um, Happy Mail cards up on my card rack. It's a metal frame. What's it called? Help me out. What's the big black thing called? Card, card what? Ba, 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 ba. What's it called? It'll be at the back if it is anyway. Help! What's it called? The big thing that holds the cards that I just bought. Oh, I'm really going to have to talk to my doctor about my memory. That is just so bad. It's getting to the stage now where I'm crafting, I'm looking at a colour and I just cannot think what colour it is. Even though I've used them for years. Normally I would be like, wham bam, thank you ma'am, I know what colour that is. But my mind is just... Um, it's not liking it. Right, come on, I'm trying to find it. Pegboard! Karen's brain isn't working either. <laughs> I think, oh, here it is. There it is. So, number six. So, um, yeah, it's like a pegboard, but it's clips. So, it's a card display. It is £28, but it's good, sturdy metal. Um, so, you could put cards on it. I've put mine up on the wall. Really easy to do. Um, and what else have I got up there? I've got an Action for Happiness calendar for the month of March and it gives you little prompts every day and it's really good. So, that's uh, a good idea and all these are going to be together and my home office going to look awesome. Right, now, for this, um, you could use blue tack if you want to remove them and things like that. But what I'll do is I'll just use... Um, will I glue it on? Yeah, why not? So I'm going to put that there. Let's find another one. Do, 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 do. Let's do my two boys. These look really nice printed in black. Da, 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 da. Put that to the side. My printer used to be able to print these in, um, on the basic cardstock, no problem, but... Um, it's nearly on its last legs. So, if you have other magnets in your stash as well, you could simply just um, magnet it on like so. I think um, I do need to still buy little magnets for um, doing flip over little flaps and stuff. Keep forgetting. Keep forgetting. Right, uh, what I'll do though is I'm just going to add... Um, a little bit of stamp and seal. Don't push too hard if you're actually leaning on your board. And this one I am going to put just up and down straight. Steph's saying can't overuse what brain I have is a spark share migraines. Oh bless. Hi Debbie. How awesome is that? I mean, you could put your little appointments and stuff up, up there. Uh, on my um, actual card display one, the metal one, I popped up my dentist appointment and I actually remembered because it was right in front of my face. Kristen's hoping that the, in the new catalogue they have extra magnet clips. Yeah, definitely. That would be amazing. That would be amazing. Um, however, if you were wanting more, what I would probably do um, in the meantime is buy these little bulldog clips, get little magnets and simply attach them to the back. Um, but obviously, if they were to bring more of these out, I'd buy them. Because everything's got to match in my house. Everything's got to match. Right, I'm going to pop one more um, photo up. And I want to pop the photo up of my mum. This was when she got her, last, her hair done last. So mum used to always get her hair done every six weeks before her amputation. Um, 
and she maybe only gets it done a couple of times a year now. So this is a gorgeous photo of my mum, having just had her hair done. So she's sitting in her wee wheelchair. So I'm going to find a little card for that. So let's see. Let's see if there's any that coordinate. Oh, look at this. Happy day. How fab would that be? A day in the life. <clears throat> These are awesome. Look at the fun sunshine and rainbows on the back as well. Um, let me see. This week. <laughs> happy, happy, happy. And you could just mix and match them. Thank you, Karen. It is a lovely photo. Uh, we've got love this, we've got always. You could put a photo on and put notes. Mum got hair done. Oh, the, the limit, the possibilities are um, limitless. Hi there. You make my heart happy. And the thing is, these all come off, so you could change it every month. Oh, Susan's saying my mum's beautiful. Oh, thank you. You do, Karen. Thank you. Um... So yeah, yeah, she's 75 this year and my dad, he is, I'm going to use this one, life is beautiful. He is 70 this year and both birthdays are in May. So that little card is from What A Year Memories and More. And I'm really glad they brought out this um, magnetic board kit because I, don't, I think these cards are too pretty to to cut up and stuff like that so I'm glad I'm getting use right I'm going to trim this down a bit cut off one of many of mum's house coats every time my dad goes to Asda or Morrison's he buys he buys um, my mum new pyjamas <laughs> um, Susan saying she lost both her parents god bless them oh rest in peace rest it I know it's so sad Got to treasure people while they're here. Most definitely. And as my husband says, you've got to live li live every day like it should last. So much so, he got a big tattoo of that across his chest. Look though, guys, how gorgeous is this? £24. £24. Obviously, you can um, print off your own sentiments. You've probably seen I have got Susan saying that's very true, definitely, hun. Ed can likes lots lots of gym jams and Jason gowns. <laughs> oh, so I I've got lots of cards. This is my stress lace pack. I'm gonna grab my other ones. I'm gonna show you something quick. Where are they? Where are they? Now I'm getting these cards out because these match the colours. <laughs> See if everything's got to match. Hi Margaret. Looks fab, Trisha. Great picks. Oh, thank you. Um, yeah, and I try to do a daily three. So look at this. This one says you are unique. So um, I get these in my business box subscription. Um, but I'm sure you can pick them up online. Gift Republic make them. Um, you can just pick out, pick out some sentiments, pop them in. Um, you are amazing. So let's see. Pop that in beside mum. Make every day a masterpiece. So I really do think it is important to, especially if you're going through tough times, to just um, find some positivity, have a wee read of it, believe it, and then um, it really does set you up for the day. It does set you up for the day. Listen to me, Trisha the Guru. <laughs> oh, you know, I just like talking. But how beautiful is that, folks? Isn't that gorgeous? And the thing is, as Kirsten says, see this, this could be laminated. It would make a good gift, Susan, and you could actually change it up. I know in America, um, you guys are so good at all your seasons, like fall, um, trick-or-treat, Halloween and things like that, Thanksgiving. This would be great just to, like you would change, like a seasonal frame, you could change this according to the season as well. Um, or for a new baby gift, Trisha the Guru, Guru, <laughs> TG. <laughs> I know what my like. The thing is, I need to listen to my own advice. 
Oh dear. Right, so what time is it? I don't know if we'll have time to make a wee box. Only five minutes left. I'll maybe leave the, the wee box till next week. Um, Because Karen, you've got me on a super duper awesome 3D project mission. So I've got all your little gifts in my in the wee box that came in. Aren't they gorgeous? Look at this as well from this Rainbow of Happiness. You make this world a better place. You can stamp your own cards. You can make little tags. Put the wee tags in here. Um, pick one out, send it to a friend. Karen's saying, go on, do it, do it. <laughs> um, yeah, there's lots you could do. Definitely a lot you can do. Um, that's a good thing about a lot of our stamps. There's always, sometimes I'll buy a stamp just for one sentiment. Um, let's see what else is there. Right, not that one. I've had to put a lot of stamps away because celebration's ended. Um, but yeah, this one's good. You can make your own little rainbows, such as this, um, like I did with my um, mat. You could pop up things like that. Um, but yeah, for £24, um, and then putting maybe an hour or two of your love and sweat and tears into it and gifting it to someone like Susan suggested, that would be an amazing gift. Especially if it's an interactive one that they can chop and change things as well. When, hi Wendy, Wendy's saying, love this kit, it's so pretty. It really is, and you can mix and match with other products as well, which is awesome. Right, I'm going to put my, have I used all my, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. So, see for instance this. Um, if I needed more, I could just maybe put a wee magnet on the back. Um, but yeah, isn't that awesome? Um, I've not got a photo up on my husband. Let me quickly cut that out first before we finish. Not wanting him feeling left out. So I'm not doing that one though that I've just looked at because I look really, really chubby in it. Did you all see, pardon me, did you all see my post yesterday about having to go up a couple of bra sizes? Jeez. And obviously my, I've got a, quite a small framed body so it's like the wires are stabbing me in the armpits. <laughs> but <laughs> it's calming things down, should I say. Right, I'm just going to pop that there. So there's my darling hubby. And me trying to do a pout. Ta-da! Right, guys, that is all for now. Um, oh, postman's come in. I think he's got a parcel for me. Um, I will pop it up on YouTube later on. Um, and I'll see you soon, Ramona, sweetheart. Thanks again, everyone. And I'll speak to you all soon. Bye!